good evening. You'll be on page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker, the maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we have, we have sinned, sinned against you through our own fault in, in thought, thought and word and deed, and, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all of our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Do you want to choose a psalm? Sure. Psalm 91, on page 129. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow, shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, Therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, to, to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. John, did you be so... How about that one? Oh, yeah, you can do that one too. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So I was watching, so Sadie Robertson is a, she was on Duck, some of you might know her from Duck Dynasty, um, but she is, she now preaches and so I was watching one of her sermons and she was talking about how fearless her mother is and how no matter the situation that she's in, she can always place her trust in God. And I think that concept and is very simple when you think about it, but really living it out is very difficult. But I think that when we place our trust in God, He takes our fear away. There was what mom said in Psalm 91, really spoke to me. I liked a thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. I think that that's really, that's powerful, and that when we, God, God protects us, and he, he cares for us, and so he, we need to place our trust in him, and he'll take our fear away. Another um, verse I really like is, fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand, which is Isaiah 41, verse 10. I think that during this time as we, we surround Dad, who is home now actually, so Yay. that's a little update. Um, mm -hmm. We'll show him at the end, but um, 
so during this time as we gather around him as he's healing from this procedure I think it's really important that um, we we don't we're not scared and we don't have fear about his healing process and that we trust that in God that he's gonna be okay and that he's gonna heal fully and he's gonna come out of this better than he was before so all right Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, as our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Um, tonight, we, what, do you have, what do you want to pray for tonight, Mom? Oh, do we have a list? Or? Um, I don't think we do. Okay. Um, we would like to pray for the first responders and the police, for Dad, who's healing, mm -hmm. um, for Sister Virginia, who is having surgery on the 10th, Aunt Lucille, um, and whoever whoever's on your hearts that you feel you, you should There's pray for. There's a referee that recently passed in Richland Center that we want to pray for his family as well. All right. Um... Do <laughs> yeah, can I? Uh, this is on page 133. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Do we do two of these or not? Um, yeah, there's one on the next page. We what do. about this one? Yeah, you can do that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the bottom of page 133, visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from its from all its snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with, with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Now we're going to try to show Dad. He's in his, he's just resting right now. So let's see if we can. There he is. Any message for everybody? Hi. Thanks for all your prayers. Good to see you. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Emmy and Mom did a great job. Thank you so much for doing the prayer. Keep praying. I'm getting better every day. All right. Good night. Good night.